In addition to all the business requirements, you need to be very much aware of the legal and regulatory requirements. If your business, let's assume that your organization is a hospital, well, if you lose power, you just can't tell everybody to go home. You are legally bound to continue to offer those services even in the face of a disaster. So make sure that you understand the legal requirements, and they may very well supersede your business requirements. And when the law says you've got to do it, even if you're losing money, you need to be aware of that up front, and you need to plan around it. The BCP may be required to be maintained according to published standards as well. Depending on the organization type that you work with, there may be published standards which tell you how to operate in terms of business interruptions and how you handle different interruptions. So make sure that you collect all the requirements put upon you before you start to develop your own plans. Businesses may also well have contractual obligations to customers. Let's assume that you are delivering product. Let's take one of the large package delivery services in our country. If they suffer a disaster or something happens, let's say, at their hub airport and the airport is closed, what are their obligations to their customers? Well, there's a lot of guarantees. We're going to guarantee we'll get this package to you overnight or, and so at that point, the or kicks in. So these companies have to be prepared with backup plans to continue their business so that they don't end up violating any contractual obligations they have to customers. In many cases, the relationship between the provider and the customer is so important to the customer that the business continuity plan and the current review of that plan may be a contract stipulation. You may be required to produce your plan. So be aware, if you need to have confidential areas of your plan, have a version of your plan with the appropriate stipulations in it that you're willing to give to your customers if they ask for it. A sound BCP may also satisfy due care and due diligence requirements by showing that you've properly planned to continue your business in the face of a disaster. You very well may be able to use that as part of the proof that yes, I am attempting to guarantee the confidentiality, the integrity, as well as the availability of my system.